Hi, this is Tutor P, and this is Lesson 652. The title of today's lesson is The Difference Between Earthquake, Quake, Tremor, and Timbler. Okay, somebody on screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. An earthquake is a shaking or trembling uh, on the surface of the earth caused by underground shifting of plates or rocks, volcanic activity, etc., below the surface. The term earthquake tends to be used more when the number on the Richter scale is high, and especially when significant damage is done. So there will be some crossover between some of these terms. Quake is just a, a short form of earthquake, but is also used as a type of suffix to describe shaking on other planets or celestial objects such as moon quakes, star quakes, Mars quakes, etc. Yeah, so on these other planets, we can't say, like, for example, we cannot say there's an earthquake on Mars because it's not on Earth. It's, it's on Mars, so you can't say that. But they could still use the word quake with it. All right, let's continue. A tremor is often described as a small earthquake, rarely large enough for serious damage. They may be smaller shakes as a sign of, a future, of future earthquakes, or subsiding aftershocks, you know, if, if the first one wasn't too significant, maybe some of the aftershocks might go below this number. Uh, according to South African standards, uh, an earthquake would usually register above 4.0 and a tremor would be below 4.0. Now, I don't know, maybe some other places in the world might have a different standard, but it's probably in that area somewhere. Let's continue. A tembler is another word for earthquake. It is mostly used in American English. So British English, Australian English, they don't use that. Uh, and derives from Spanish. It came from the word uh, temblar, you know, the verb, of course. We also, I think, say temblor for the noun. Uh, in Spanish, meaning to shake or to tremble, of course. The word tembler did not appear in American English until the end of the 1800s or early 1900s. Some speakers don't consider it a standard English word, so sometimes they might think that you shouldn't be using it, but, you know, the media does. Uh, but it is sometimes used in the media, and especially in Spanish-speaking areas of the America. So if, if they're talking about in South America or Central America, or even, you know, maybe Southern California or something like that, they sometimes use it in the media. All right, let's continue. Uh, and we got five examples here to show just how they are used. Um, the earthquake measured a 7.0 on the Richter scale, okay, general one. Uh, again, it's large, so we're more likely to use the word earthquake. Some small tremors were felt as aftershocks, okay, good. Um, number three, many animals can sense tremors that humans cannot, so especially if they're low, like, you know, 3.0 or 2.0 or something like that. Uh, number four, they say 62 moonquakes were detected between 1972 and 1977. And number five here, Costa Rica registered that Tembler uh, as being a magnitude of 5.5. Okay, well, I hope this gives you a better feel of when we're more likely to use one of these terms than the other. Anyway, thank you for your time. Bye-bye.